Now, in this question, he is saying that match the xenon compounds in column 1 with the structure of the column 2 and assign the correct code. Now, two columns are given, column number 1 and column number 2. In column number 1, there are some compounds given and column number 2, their shapes are given, right? So, we have to match them. Okay, let's start the solution. First one is XeF4. So, XeF4. Xenon having 8 electrons making 4 bonds. So, 4 bonds will be like this. And there will be lone pair. So, it is square planar. Right? So, XEF4, it is square planar. Let us talk about XEF6. XEF6. Now, Xenon is having 8 electrons, 4 electrons are participating in the bonding with fluorine here and one here and one here. The total six bonds are formed but still one lone pair is left. So, that lone pair will come here which will distort the shape. This is not octahedral, this is distorted octahedral. So, it is distorted octahedral. So, XEF6 the shape will be distorted octahedral. Now, let us talk about XEOF4. So, XeOF4. Now, again, Xenon is having 8 valence electrons. So, 1, 2 bonds with oxygen, 4 bonds with fluorine, fluorine, another fluorine, another fluorine. So, this is square and if we join this, this will become pyramid. This is the lone pair, right? So, this is square pyramid and if it is square pyramid, then XEF4, it is square pyramidal and then I don't think so there is any use to find out this. You can match only like this and the correct answer is option number 2. So, answer is option number Right. Let us move on to the next question. Now, in this question, it is given that the magnet and the permagnet ion are tetrahedral due to. Four options are given. The first is the pi bonding involves between the overlap of the p orbital of the oxygen with the d orbital of the manganese. There is no pi bonding. Second option. Third option is the pi bonding involves overlap of p orbitals of the oxygen with the p orbitals of the manganese. And the fourth option is the pi bonding involves overlap of the d orbital of the oxygen with the d orbitals of the manganese. Now, d orbitals are not present in the oxygen. This is wrong. Now, there is no pi bonding. This statement is also wrong. Why? In NCRT, it is given that the structure of magnet and per magnet ion and if you talk about MnO4 minus that is per magnet ion that is manganese, oxygen, oxygen, This is per magnet ion and we know that the outermost electrons of manganese are present in D subshell and in oxygen it is P subshell. So, definitely there is D pi P pi bonding, right? Now, if we talk about magnet ion that was per magnet ion, if we talk about magnet ion MnO4 
2 minus the structure of MnO4 2 minus will be MnO O O minus O minus definitely it will also have d pi p pi bonding means the correct answer is d orbitals of manganese and p orbitals of oxygen are making pi bond so our option number one is correct so the answer is option number one right let's move on to the next question now, in this question is asking which of the following species is not stable. Now, SIF62 minus GCL62 minus SNOH whole 6 2 minus and SICL6 2 minus. The last one is not stable because silicon is small in size and chloride is bigger than fluoride. SIF62 minus is possible. Why? Because 6 fluoride ions can surround the SI4 plus ion but in the case of SiCl6 the size of Cl minus is big that's why 6 Cl minus cannot surround the silicon that's why our answer is fourth so the final answer is option number fourth right let's move on to the next question